Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Sister Sakani. Uh, today, I just wanted to share some revelations uh, the Lord has been giving me and my sister some few days now. And uh, in this revelation, I'm going to start with the dream that he gave her uh, last, I think, five days ago, where he showed her that we were in the middle of the ocean, the Red Sea, pretty much is the Red Sea, and we're in the middle of it. We are crossing over. And he showed her uh, a wall of water on both sides and she was so scared that the water was just going to uh, come crushing over her and um, but the waters did not come crushing over her the intensity of the waters just was so magnificent was so great that you know it was so overwhelming that the waters was going to overtake her but they did not and that was five days ago, and three days ago, I I had a uh, I had a dream that we were crossing over, and uh, I was like in a car, and as I was in the car, um, I was also outside of the car for some reason, and uh, the waters were coming fast, and I know it was like the Red Sea where they were coming so fast and with a mighty force, and uh, I was thinking like I was feeling like I was gonna be swept you know, over by these waters, but all of a sudden, this mighty angel just came over and swooped me and landed me over to the other side of the waters, so, and I was so happy that, you know, we had made it, that we had not swooped, been swooped over by these mighty waters, so the Lord is showing us that we have landed into the other side. Brothers and sisters, the time is so short. Time is absolutely short. You know, like I said a couple of weeks ago, he did tell me the end of the age. The Lord is telling us that the time has come for uh, for the Holy Spirit pretty much to go. You know, we know that before the mount of sin can can be revealed, the Holy Spirit has to go. The Holy Spirit has be has been taken to heaven before the mount of sin can be revealed. You know, because He is the holder. He's the one who's holding. Uh, the restrainer, so the restrainer has to go. Brothers and sisters, the Lord is here. The Lord is with us. He's telling us that we are there. Uh, we're gonna. It's any minute, any day. The Lord is gonna blow the trumpet. His mighty angels are going to blow the trumpet, and the trumpet we're gonna hear it. We know it's coming up. The feast of trumpet, the feast of uh, trumpets is coming up, which is to. Uh, starting tonight and tomorrow, which is the Feast of Trumpet. We know also the solar eclipse is coming. My sister did talk about, you know, being the sickle, and uh, the Lord is going to sweep his bride. You know, it's a sickle, so it's going to harvest. The Lord says the harvest is ripe. The harvest is ripe. You know, the angels in Revelation 13, it says, take your sickle and rip, for the harvest is ripe. And, uh, you know, take your sickle and rip for the harvest is ripe. So we know that the harvest is ripe and the Lord wants to harvest those who are ready, those who have met themselves, who wash themselves in the blood of the Lamb. For He is He is our Passover Lamb. You know, Jesus is our Passover Lamb. He died on the cross. He gave His life on the cross so that we might have life and we have more life more abundant. Brothers and sisters, God is so good. He is absolutely gracious. He's absolutely our Passover lamp. He died. He paid the full price for me and you, for me and you to have that eternal life. He paid it all on the cross. And also I was reading about that, that when he, when he died on the cross, it was at noon and there was darkness on the land for three hours, he says. And then the third hour, he he gave his last breath, you know. He gave his last breath on the third hour, but there was darkness on the land. And on the third hour, at three o'clock, he gave his last breath, and there was um, an earthquake, and the, uh, the curtain was ripped, you know, from top to bottom. So it's representing also that what is about to happen, you know. This is all representing about what is about to happen, because... The sickle is here. The sickle is here and is about to swing that sickle and reap the harvest. Because the Lord says, is ripe. 
in Revelation 14, it says, Take your sickle and reap, for the harvest is ripe. In Joel 3.13, it says, Swing the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. And then it says, Come, trample the grapes, for the winepress is full, and the vats overflow. So, uh, overflow. So great is their wickedness. And not only that, when the Lord has swung his sickle, when he's ripped, those who have prepared themselves, they, this is what's coming after. You know, the trembling, the plowing, because they were not ready. So the plowman is coming to plow the land. That's what the Lord said. The plowman is coming to plow the land. Brothers and sisters, I'm going to go to Amos 9. Amos 9, I'm going to start from verse number 11. And it says, Israel restoration, verse number 11. In that day I will restore David's fallen shelter. I will repair its broken walls and restore its ruins. And rebuild, and I will rebuild it as it used to be. So that they may possess the remnant of Edom. And all the nations that bear my name, declares the Lord. Who will do these things? The days are coming, declares the Lord. When the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman. The reaper is Jesus Christ. He is the reaper. He's going to over, he says, the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman. So the reaper will be overtaken by the plowman. The plowman is coming, and it says, and the planter by the one treading the grapes. Jesus is the planter. He's the one who gave his life so that we may have life. The planter by the one treading the grapes, the great tribulation. So it says, new wine will drip from the mountains and flow from all the hills. This is those who've been, over, who've been taken by Jesus, who've been harvested, who we'll go to the hills, to Mount Zion, to be with our Father. It says, new wine will drip from the mountains and flow from all the hills, and I will bring my people Israel back from his exile. They will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. They will plant vineyards and drink their, their wine. They will make gardens and eat their fruit. This is a promise. This is where we're going. I will bless, I mean, I will plant Israel in their own land. Never again to be uprooted from the land I have given them, says the Lord, your God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we are going to Mount Zion. We are going to New Jerusalem. He says, never again to be uprooted. Praise the Lord. Never again to be uprooted. This is a promise the Lord is giving to those who are going with him. He is the reaper. He is coming to reap the harvest. Are you ready to be in the great harvest? Are you ready to enjoy to go to Mount Zion? To enjoy new wine from the mountains? Are you ready? The Lord says the time has come. The Lord says the the harvest is ripe. The Lord says it is time. Are you ready? Are you ready? He is coming, saints. Look up. Our redemption has come. I bless you all. I love you all. We'll be together very, very soon. In Jesus' name, amen.